so kind to me. Reckless Love, I know the biblical story behind uh -huh. it, but curious, where were you? What happened that that song was birthed? Totally, yeah, two things for me. Number one was the birth of my son. When I held my son for the first time, it, it changed every idea that I held of God. Mm -hmm. uh, every idea that I thought of God, oh, well, because my earthly father was this, he must be this, right? And in a moment, it was like, oh my gosh, looked into his eyes and you know, they look like alien when they're little kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I looked into his eyes and it was just like, oh my gosh, I, I have a, a capacity for love that I never thought I could have, ever. And so that, that was the first thing. Number two was our daughter, Lily. Um, she had a couple of health com complications and we thought we lost her a couple of times. You know, stopped breathing and it, you know, we freaked out like crazy. And in the middle of that, the question of is God good or is he not became very real in my heart. And I actually, I actually had to ask some, some difficult questions yeah. of God, like where were you? why did you let this happen? And in the middle of that, he spoke so much wow. into my life and, and into my wife as well. And, and those two things were kind of where, where it all came from. What gave you the peace during that trying? Asking the honest questions. Yeah. You know, I, I look at David in the Psalms and I think a lot of people would balk at his language, like, oh my gosh, how could you say that to God? Where are you? Why have you forsaken me? Those things. And um, I began to ask God, like, what the heck? You know, like real questions. What is going on? Why is my daughter almost dying? Are you punishing me? Mm -hmm. Have I sinned? Have I done something wrong? And those were sort of the false paradigms that I held mm -hmm. in my heart. Like, oh, I must have done something wrong and now he's doing this to me. Yeah. And the truth of it is he used the whole thing to actually confirm to my heart his goodness, his kindness in the midst of all of it. I'd like to go back to Reckless Love and talk more about the album cover. Yeah. yeah. Um, because totally. I understand that oh. sort of introduces us to your life. Yeah, your yeah. So, so there was a single cover of mm -hmm. Reckless Love that came out with me looking like a goofball of a little boy, you know, <laughs> with spiky hair and just kind of a, a weird looking little guy. And, uh -huh. and then the record cover, mm -hmm. the full length comes mm -hmm. out and it's me holding my little boy about the same age. Mm -hmm. And like I, like I mentioned earlier, so much of it is looking at myself when I was a little boy and realizing that I wasn't really able to receive love in a real way until I had my own son. Yeah. And, and the phrase that the father kind of dropped into my heart was, I, I had to become a father to learn how to be a son. Yeah. That's what it took for me to learn how to actually live in the delight and smile of the father. I had to have my own little guy, you know, and realize what it feels like mm -hmm. to have that experience. And so that, that's it. I know it's kind of, mm -hmm. some people are like, what the heck? <laughs> what is going on, man? And, and I'm going, no, this is, this is my story. This is uh, what the Lord, what the father has, has taught me over the years. You know, hearing you talk about that young age, the relationship with your father, mm -hmm. the relationship you now have with your children, uh, and understanding the relationship <clears throat> that God the Father has with us. How has that transformed your relationship with your own dad, your earthly father? Oh yeah, it, it actually really has changed quite a bit. And you know, my dad and I sat down after Gabriel, my son, who was on the cover, was born. There began to be some, some real restoration and, and uh, the Lord began to kind of knit our hearts again because it almost felt like he had a second chance. Yeah. My dad had a second chance with Gabriel. And um, we had those honest conversations where I said, Dad, this was difficult for me as a little boy. No. You know, and he went, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that, you know, and, and I'm sorry. And it was, uh, to me, it was a, a fleshing out of the, the end of the book of Malachi where it says, I'm turning the hearts of the fathers to the sons and the sons to the fathers, and it's often through repentance. Yeah. Us going, I'm so sorry that I was like this as a teen. Yeah. And him going, you know, I'm so sorry that I was like that to you. <laughs> and so it, there was a lot of restoration that, that came from that place. Still you give yourself away. 